Aria Resort right now at Liquid Pool. We got the pool party going on, all the UFC fighters, UFC ring girls, and other hosts and personalities. So I'm excited to be here. Robbie Lawler's a beast, and I'm the type of guy that never goes against the champ. So Robbie is my boy, American top team, but you know he's in for a big task on Saturday. UFC, baby! Gregor's no joke, but I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. It's gonna be uh, Chad Mendes all the way. I know what the guy's capable of. And you know the whole world's gonna see when he goes out there and, uh, and destroys Conor McGregor in the main event. I think Mendes is gonna win the decision. That's what I'm thinking. Well, Conor's got real clean hands, some of the cleanest hands I've ever seen, and uh, he's got a lot of power. So uh, you know, I, obviously in that, gotta be careful with that. But you know, I got I got a 60-40 chance. Come on, Conor McGregor! Look at that, sec percent. Really? Back. Yeah. It zips all the way yeah. up. What? I got one too. <laughs> what do you have it for? Just fucking hang around, be cool. Yeah. <laughs> we got a great way to, to every, travel through every, the casino. Every time you just zip it all yeah. the way up, walking through the casino, we no gotta, one will know it's you. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What the? <laughs> oh my God, where'd that come from? Check this out. Oh, who is it? Where'd Chad go? Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy, man. America! Nice. Oh, it's not a curse. I think we're good to go. <laughs> yeah! Hey! 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 It's like getting fucking squeezed by a grizzly bear. Dude. Making sure the nerve pathways are open, firing correctly. It's all performance-based stuff for these guys. Connor's parents they sat him down and said, look, we're gonna make Connor a pretty good fighter on one condition. He's not gonna be able to unflax his lats his whole life. And he'll never shut the fuck up either. They're like, all right, deal. <laughs> Feeling like a new man. This is embedded. Is he? I think so. Hi to Cody from TJ. Connor is going to kill Chad? I don't think so. This is what Connor does, so I'm definitely all in. I'm 100% on his team by his side. I help him out in any way I can. I do his shopping separate to all the others, so I make sure he has all the best stuff and all organic ingredients. I definitely don't keep distance, I stay around him all the time, but there is certain things like if he's cranky when he's hungry and things like that, I, I let things slide more so in fight week because obviously he's hungry and he's training in sweat gear and things like that, so I definitely try and help him out any way I can. Yes, I'm just checking my way. You can go check right now, come back there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chad, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? What's going on? All right. Check with Tony, check your weight, and you guys are good to go, man. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be all right. That's right. Hey, I didn't touch you. Like I could have dumped him on his head. All right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> My arm dragged. You're right. I could have, could have sent him on his head. He ended up double. I let him over. Double square. Yeah, baby. They say I struggle, but I don't struggle. I'm a perfectionist. Fuck everyone doubting me. Doubting a professional. How can you doubt a professional? I don't fuck about with this game, eh? I take this game very seriously. 145 on the dot. <laughs> Yeah, dude, she's got a crowd? Way more than 10,000. It's bigger than UFC Dublin. For a way. It's fucking huge. I walked out there and got fucking 
loved. Look at this crowd! Whoa! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the UFC Welterweight oh. Championship. Introducing. 